If I'm being honest, I never really paid that much attention to Intel's Optane memory. I'd heard of it, had a vague idea what it was, but that's about it. But it turns out Optane's actually a pretty big deal. Essentially, it's either a very fast storage drive like one of these, or a small capacity acceleration drive, also known as a caching drive like this, that can make your old and slow mechanical hard drive feel as fast as an SSD. How does that actually work? The technology behind Optane is actually really interesting. It uses a brand new type of memory technology developed by Intel called 3D Crosspoint. That's instead of traditional NAND memory we get with normal SSDs. Now getting into how Optane is non-volatile memory like normal SSDs, but can deliver performance like volatile memory, similar to the sticks of DRAM you have in your PC, is kind of fascinating if you're a nerd like me, as it means we can potentially get the capacity of a NAND SSD with the low latency speed of DRAM. But that's getting a little bit technical. This is supposed to be a quick explainer. So without getting into the nitty gritty too much, Optane is very fast and very low latency compared to a normal SSD. It's much quicker at receiving and executing commands. So in benchmarks, it really shines when we look at 4K sequential read and write times or running low Q depth tests. So that's all lovely and very technical and quite boring. But what does it mean in the real world? Well, as I say, you can get a storage drive like this or an Optane memory stick like this. And I think this is where the real magic is. I've got the 32 gig Optane memory stick here, which will cost you about 55 pounds here in the UK. You can get a 16 gig version for half the price. And let's say you have a desktop PC like this. You may already have an SSD boot drive with Windows on it, but because SSDs are still a lot more expensive than traditional mechanical hard disks like this, especially at larger capacities, if you need lots of storage for your games, your videos, your apps, you may have a hard drive like this with say one, two, three, four terabytes of storage, but this hard drive is slow, very slow. Running Windows or opening files on a hard drive is painful if you're used to SSD speeds. So what this little Optane stick can do is speed this up. It caches or stores your most often used apps, games and files. Whatever you have on your hard drive, whether it's Windows, your Steam library, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, it'll all load faster if you pair it with an Optane stick. And it's pretty easy to set up as well. You just plug this into an M2 slot on your motherboard, download the Intel software, I put links in the description, select which drive you want to speed up and then click enable. One reboot later and you'll start to see the results. There are some fairly hefty restrictions though. Optane only works on PCs running Windows 10 with an Intel 200 series or newer motherboard and a KB Lake i3 or better processor. So you'll need a pretty modern PC to use it. So it's not gonna be for everyone, but even if you do have a modern PC, but maybe you still do have a big hard drive for your Steam library or your videos, whatever you have in your PC, then I can definitely see adding a nice little Optane stick to that and making it feel like an SSD is gonna be a big upgrade. And considering the price of this, I think it's definitely worth doing. However, what I think is gonna be even more interesting is Optane in laptops. We're actually now seeing the first generation of laptops with Intel Optane memory coming out, which I'm really excited about and making a separate video on, which you're not gonna to want to miss. The speed difference between two identical laptops, one with Optane, one without, is pretty incredible. Make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss that. Speaking of Intel, I've teamed up with them to give away another brand new i7-8700K processor. You can check the description and my pinned comment for details on how to win. Thank you so much for watching guys. Do hit that like and subscribe button down there somewhere if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.